Let's solve problem 6.12 for microelectronic circuits 8th edition by Cedric and Smith. We have an NPN transistor of a type whose beta is specified to range from 50 to 200. It's connected in a circuit with emitter grounded collector at positive 10 volts and current of 10 microamps injected into the base. We want to calculate the range of collector and emitter current that can result and the maximum power that can be dissipated in the transistor. So I'm going to start by drawing out this uh, BJT. So it's an NPN transistor, which means the collector will be on the top wire. And we enter our transistor. We have our base with 10 microamps injected into it. So I'm just going to draw that as a burn source and ground it there. And then we have our emitter, which is grounded. Okay, so let's draw the EBJ and the CBJ because we need to determine the region of operation that this BJT is operating in. So that way we know what equations we can use to solve for the current. So we know that for an NPN transistor, the voltage drop from the base to the emitter, capital V V E, is 0.7 volts using the constant uh, voltage drop for the diode. So that means going from base to emitter, we have 0 volts at the emitter because it's grounded. Then we have 0 0.7 volts at the base, so the EBJ is forward biased. Now for the CBJ, we have the base at 0 0.7 volts and the collector at 10 volts. So we're going from low to high, which means that the CBJ is reverse biased. Now when you have a forward biased EBJ and a reverse biased CBJ, you are operating in the active region. Okay, now we're going to solve solving for current. So beta is going to range from 50 to 200, and we know that the base current is 10 microamps. So using that information, we could solve for the collector current equal to beta times the base current. So if we do 50 times 10 microamps and it'll go up to 200 times 10 microamps. So I get that the collector current is going to range from 0 0.5 milliamps to 2 milliamps for the collector current. There we go. Okay. So it will range from 0 0.5 to 2, point, to 2 milliamps. Now we can use IE emitter current is going to be equal to beta plus 1 multiplied by base current. So that'll equal uh, 51 times 10 microamps to 200 plus 1 is 201 times 10 microamps. So I get that the emitter current will range from 0 0.51 milliamps to 2.01 milliamps. And then the maximum power dissipated. Uh, so that would be the current from the base multiplied by voltage at the base. And then we're just going to add collector current multiplied by voltage at the collector. We would technically also add current at the emitter times voltage at the emitter, but the voltage of the emitter is zero, so we're not concerned with that. So power will be equal to the maximum base current, which is just 10 microamps, multiplied by 0 0.7 volts. And then we're going to add the maximum collector current, which will be 2 milliamps, multiplied by the voltage 
10 volts. And I get about 20 milliwatt for the power. Now, our problem also says perhaps you can see why this is a bad way to establish the operating current in the collector. I'm not really sure what the author is trying to demonstrate there. So if anyone has any comments on that, I would love to hear your take on that note in the comment section. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. For any comments or video suggestions, you can contact me in the comments or by my email and have a great day.